all nations, the future depends on how well it safeguards the most vulnerable, the children. One of the most pressing challenges facing Indigenous children in Canada is that they are four times at risk of motor vehicle collision fatalities and injuries. Through our project funded by Auto 21, we were able to build a partnership with the First Nations community that led to an epiphany on how to address this risk through the creation of a philanthropic trust fund called the First Nations Children's Safety Project. The goal of the trust fund was to ensure that all Indigenous children in Canada have access to safety equipment such as booster seats, infant car seats, and helmets. Being a, uh, a mother, a grandmother, and I was also involved in a minor vehicle collision, and we got hit from behind. And I was so lucky and so glad that they were strapped in properly. Needless to say, we have poverty in our community, and this project is helping us to keep our children safe in the vehicles that they're transported in. As a grandmother, it's important to me to make sure and to feel that my children, my grandchildren are safe in any kind of vehicle that they're being transported in and that they have a safety seat that is, meets the standards. Being a worker within the community here, we have a lot of births in this area um, from our First Nations and on average 50 births a year. We're in the process of fundraising and part of the fundraising that we're doing is raffling off a quilt that was donated to us by the Senior Sewing Group here on Walpole Island. The First Nations Children's Safety Project Trust Fund covers the cost of booster seats through contributions which are fully tax deductible. We are especially grateful for the support and donations from the Walpole Island First Nations Sewing Club the Rotary Club of Wallaceburg and the Bank of Montreal in helping to make the goal of child safety a reality. So as a supervisor of the Ketchumon Children's Centre, I think it's just really important for me to be an advocate for the children. Since I didn't even realize that there was four times greater risk for, for our children, First Nation children, to be in a car accident. And with that being um, being said, there's a lot of children that need car seats, um, booster seats, infant car seats. So this is something to keep our community safe.